Well, the COVID crisis is hitting the restaurant industry especially hard. We've talked about it a lot. And Duff's at the Eastern Hills Mall is one of several restaurants suing the state over COVID related restrictions. Well, now the owner of that Duff's location is having another issue with the state. We get more on that now from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya. The owner of Duff's in the Eastern Hills Mall says he's done everything he can to abide by New York State's outdoor dining guidance, but he is continuously cited by the health department, most recently Saturday, for not having two open sides on his patio. I absolutely say that I have two fully open sides in addition to a large opening on the third side. A representative for the health department tells 7 Eyewitness News, sanitarians observed outdoor dining in structures that did not conform to New York State guidance for outdoor dining. In issued violations. Duell says he was at the restaurant the entire day, but didn't see a health inspector at all. They did threaten significant fines, suspension of my license, or permanent revocation of my permit to operate, which is, it's incredibly scary for me because if I lose my license, even though I haven't seen an inspector, I'm done. That's it. Duff's is one of about 90 restaurants suing the state to reopen. Attorney Corey Hogan says the case rests on the fact that not one of the restaurants has had a COVID case traced back to them. Hogan believes the fact that several of the restaurants he's representing have been recently cited is not a coincidence. They're going after the Western New York facilities restaurants because they, they, they chose to go to court to try to get themselves open. So Duel went back to the Orange Zone guidance, where it says open air spaces can have a temporary cover, so as long as such cover has has at least two open sides for airflow. The key word was two sides open for airflow. So when you look at the word open, everybody's interpretation is different. So Duel broke out his engineering degree and his anemometer to determine what the airflow really is inside his patio. My analysis uh, found that I have 22.3 air changes per hour and that is significantly safer than a hospital for airborne contaminant removal. So he presented that information to the health department. They said that they don't understand it. It has to go to the Economic Development Corp. In fact, Duel believes the air changes per hour inside the restaurant were significantly higher than the average amount of air changes per hour inside a home. The signs are pointing to, pointing to that these restaurants have significant ventilation in them and I think I think there needs to be more attention paid that we are not part of the problem. In fact, we might be able to be part of the solution. In Clarence, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.